16th ODI 100 for David Warner, which sets up a 48-run win for Australia over Bangladesh at Trent Bridge on Thursday. Gives them two full points and they go up to the top of the table. But more on that later. David Warner again, an atypical innings, which brought him on level with the Australian legend Adam Gilchrist in terms of ODI tons. Slow to start off with, but uh, Aaron Finch at the other end, 53 or 51 balls, really giving the impetus. Warner, again, like I said, a very uncharacteristic knock, wasn't really timing the way he's used to time it, the way, you know, he bats fluently, attacking the bowling. It's a new thing that he is perhaps trying. There's a determination to stay at the crease, bat longer and further the team scores. I mean, this is something that we are, try we, are, we are starting to see now in this ODI World Cup, the way teams are planning their innings together, perhaps with the exception of England, where Jason Roy and Jan Johnny Bairstow ba go hammer and tongs at the bowling at times. But mostly at a 10.30 a.m. start, teams are trying to bat out those first 10 overs without too much damage and then, uh, you know, make it up in the middle overs from over number 11 to over number 30, get at, get at 6 and over, get a platform to perhaps try to score at 8 or 10 runs and over. India do it well, and uh, with Warner trying this new approach, perhaps Australia are going the same way, especially when you have somebody like Aaron Finch at the other end, or, you know, they're, they're interchanging their number 3 and number 4 a lot. Steve Smith and Glenn Max, uh, Steve Smith and Usman Khwaja, sorry, uh, are the ones who are interchanging that number three and number four. So after Finch got out, it was Usman Khwaja today who came out to bat at uh, number three. 89 of 72, it was a huge partnership between those two. And again, after Warner got to his 100, he started attacking the bowling, started making sure that he was making up lost time. Finished, of course, with 166 of 147 balls, a strike rate of 112.9 in the end. But uh, it was uh, by the time he was finished, it was not, not at all a question of whether Australia will get 350, 360. It was more a question of whether Warner will get an elusive double 100 in ODI cricket. The acceleration, though, of course, after uh, Maxwell's dismissal, after Warner's dismissal, beg your pardon, was Glenn Maxwell. Of course, I've said his name a few too many times, haven't I? Well, 32 of 10 balls for uh, Maxwell, and it, it made sure that uh, Australia reached 381 for five. In reply, Bangladesh brave as ever, but, you know, sometimes it, it is just too much to try and score a 382-run target. They were 167-odd uh, at the 28th over. But uh, even though, you know, when you're batting first from 167, you would feel that you can add 150 odd. They did get 166 and Mushfiqur Rahim getting 100. But uh, in the end, the target proved a bit too much. What was the problem today for Bangladesh? Well, they're fielding for one. And, uh, you know, Warner was dropped on nine. So 157 runs. The area for uh, Sabir Rahman, who also got a duck. But in the end, it was the fielding plus the bowling in the middle overs that really cost Bangladesh. Thanks to some poor outfielding, those middle overs really got away from them. And 380, like I said, too much of a target to chase down. Let's just take a final look at the points table. Australia, like I had said, they are sitting top with 10 points. Five wins out of six. But what it means really for Bangladesh is the interesting point. Five points from six games, which leaves them three games. India, Afghanistan and Pakistan. They need to win all three to make it 11 points. But that might not be enough even then to sneak them into the top four. Which means perhaps any unpredictability in this league format of the World Cup has been extinguished today. Barring a miracle, the next two weeks might not have any meaningful cricket apart from, uh, you know, just getting a one-man upmanship up against, you know, your knockout opponent. This is not what the World Cup needed.